to conclude on what we have seen. So uh, we started out today having a look at the STM32 portfolio. Uh, and also we kind of were mentalizing a little bit to, to identify the challenges for high performance applications. So and how we have thought about this and, and the, the various setups. Uh, hopefully we have succeeded in introducing you to this new uh, high performance family and the capabilities of this family to address your next high performance application. Then also uh, providing an overview of different application architectures, code execution and performance, and then also trying to visualize a little bit different uh, yeah, performance differences uh, between the different use cases that uh, Radek and other guys have been uh, showing today. And in, also very importantly, showing that the practical use of the STM32 ecosystem and, and the tools therein. Because we, we believe that this is quite instrumental to have a very quick time to market. So uh, using the STM32 Cube ID, the Cube Monitor, and uh, of course uh, also taking uh, use of the Cube MX tools integrated in Cube ID or as a standalone program. So I hope really hope that we have ended up on a point where we have better understanding of this now before going into this and that you had the possibilities to straighten out some question marks. Uh, next steps, uh, of course, there's a web page for this family and you find it here on this uh, on this slide. Uh, there's the STM32 Cube ecosystem. So I think you can go even to st.com slash STM32 Cube and it will more or less drop you in the same place. Feel free to exchange um, experiences, ask questions, uh, share your knowledge on the community st.com. Uh, and of course, if you want to view more of uh, the various workshops that we have done over the years, and also some that you would like to uh, yeah, re revisit, then uh, if you go on to YouTube and ST's uh, uh, page or channel, or whatever you call it, uh, you can review them there. They're called uh, MOOCs, M-O-O-C, Massive Online Open Course. And it's many times the exact same format that you have had today little less interaction because it's a recorded setup. But uh, you can review it there. And if you have questions to it, you can always go online uh, and submit a support ticket with your questions towards the, the, the MOOC that you have been reviewing. We would like to say thank you so much for spending the day with us.